Hi, everyone. It's so good to be back. This is the first meetup since um, May, the end of May. And uh, it's so good to see everybody again. And I look forward to seeing more tomorrow. And we started today with doctor. So the, the K is held, doctor, doctor. Um, this is a good reminder that it doesn't matter if it's spelled O-R, it will still sound like E-R, er, doctor. And repertoire, repertoire. That is unusual combination, toire. <laughs> repertoire. Sustain, dun dun, sustain. Explicit. You won't hear this K really. Ec your tongue goes to the K position. Explicit. And hold the final T so you don't release a T. Explicit and implicit. It will be hard to hear the difference in regular um, conversation in a sentence because they sound very similar. So you'll have to use context to help you um, figure out which one it was. Explicit means it's very obvious and it's clear. Implicit, I'm, I'm using a stress on M to do a contrast. Explicit, implicit <laughs> means that it's hidden, that something you just understand without given ex uh, rules. Im explicit, implicit. Alzheimer's. It looks like a Z, but we do change it to a TS, alts. Alzheimer's, and the final S is a Z. <laughs> so this Z changes to an S, and this S changes to a Z. Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's disease, lots of Z's. Customarily, customarily. Horticulturist, horticulturist, hold that final T. Unprecedented or unprecedented. When the T comes after the N in the unstressed syllable, you can hold the N and just make the T disappear. <laughs> Unprecedented. Dented. Instead of dent id. Unprecedented or unprecedented. Shrimp. When you just say shrimp by itself or it's at the end of the sentence, I love shrimp, you just close your lips and you don't hear the P. But if there's a vowel after it, you will hear the P. Um, there's a shrimp on my plate. There's a shrimp on my plate. And this final T, you won't hear at all because you're holding the T and not releasing the air. So plate and played will sound exactly the same because you won't hear the final T or D is being held. However, there's a tiny difference in the vowel duration. So before the voiceless sound T, t is voiceless, so the vowel gets a little shorter, plate. The final sound in played D is voiced, so the A gets a little longer. And it's very tiny. It's not really obvious, like plate, plate. <laughs> it's like plate, 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 plate. That's it. Um, plaintiff or plaintiff, the same situation as unprecedented. Plaintiff, plaintiff. Defendant, defendant, and hold that final T. Predecease, predecease. Spherical, spherical. And we were talking about the, the new thing in Las Vegas, the sphere. So that will come up in maybe <laughs> sphere. You have to get your airflow going for the S and keep it going for the F. Sphere, sphere, spherical. Always. Make sure you open enough for a good ah, always, and the S sounds like a Z. And this was some practice with changing the vowel to to t, because it's not stressed. So today, tomorrow, tonight, and this was just another way of writing it. If you think of it as just making a tiny T sound and no vowel at all, that's good too, because it should be very short. Uh, t, t, today, tomorrow, tonight. And that's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow, <laughs> I hope. <laughs> that's it. Um, it was good to be back, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.